Okay, I got this nice little champion uh, 18-1400 watt generator. Thing runs good. Producing no voltage, however. So, um, what did I do? I opened it up. Four 10 millimeter bolts. Two short, need a screwdriver, short Phillips to take off the two screws. As you will see in the little black plastic cover back there. There's a little capacitor right there. I'm kind of doing this video backwards. <laughs> and you will see as we go along what I found and what I did. And uh, fix this thing right up. Okay, so I know this thing runs. So first step is going to be to clean it up. And be careful. This was leaking gas in the truck when I was driving with it. But I think it may just not have been tightened up so we're gonna gently clean it without getting too much water on everything we got a little dawn dish detergent with some bleach in it it's my favorite thing I'm gonna get in there and some little scrubby sponge and carefully clean it up and make it happier and then we'll uh, get to that capacitor which is bad I believe so all right, first up, clean our work area. So we got it all cleaned up and taken apart. Got the capacitor pulled, got a new capacitor. Let's check out the capacitor. All right, got a new capacitor. Same specs. No swelling though. You can see how this one's swelled out. I'm assuming that's open. That's because it's bad. And this will take care of it. Same specs, but what is the difference in size? Hmm. Well, just got to figure out where the heck it goes. I have to go look at my uh, other video, I guess. See where to put that sucker. I know where the wires go. Just gotta see how that thing mounts. I think it mounts there. Somehow. Here's the hardware. I don't think that's part of it. Four screws for the cover. The big cover. Two screws for the little cover. So how the heck does that mount? Well, let me go look at my video and see. Okay, here we got the old capacitor. It's uh, 12 microfarads plus or minus 3%, which is only like 0.36. So it can only be 11 point something or other. Let's see if I can do this. I need some clip wires. Then we got 754. That ain't going to work. Not powerful enough. Here's the brand new one. Can I do it? Push. Come on. There we go. 12.2. Good to go. Alright, let's stick that sucker in there. Somehow I lost the little nuts that go with that. This thing mounts in here. Something like this. I'm have to find a nut for this little screw. There's the ground. But that gets screwed down on the other side of this. And then there's four big bolts that go through here. And that's pretty much it. So let me go find some. I don't know what the heck happened. There should be a washer and a nut for that. Put this thing back together. Okay, so couldn't find the nut that goes with that so I come up with a number 8 screw and fiber lock nut two yellow wires hooked to that this is going to go sorry it's going to go on top of that it's going to go like that that screws onto that side that screws onto that side I'm going to make sure that ground wire is screwed to it right there but can't do it with one hand so Stick that on there and we'll come back. Okay, it's a little tricky. You gotta put the screwdriver up under here to get it up into there. 
But there we go. Ground wire is pinned in there. The other screws on the other end. Make sure the switch wire is hooked up. That's going to go up. Right like so. And those bolts are going to go right in there. Two, and I gotta see what size these are. Yeah, they're like a uh, bell mirror. We'll see. Well, I should have known. If in doubt, it's 10 millimeter. So these four bolts are 10 millimeters. These bolts are 10 millimeters. These bolts are 10 millimeters. Everything's 10 millimeters. So, all right, we're all hooked back up. Should we see? Let's see. Let's see. I believe the fuel. That off on. Huh. We have a choke. We have a choke. Choke goes over there. What are the odds? That's a nice Polish engine switch. How about we turn on the ignition? What do you think is going to happen now? It's probably flooded. Or not. what happens when you use your uh, generator to store a bunch of stuff on when you go away all your parts fall off it it's probably where that nut is it's probably gonna fall off of there too anyway so the uh, end result swollen capacitor if you don't have a, a multimeter to check it if you see something like that it's got a swollen up like that chances are it's dead you see it swelling on both sides it, when they go they have a tendency to pop out like that turned out to be a piece of cake that was a cheap fix I don't know, like 10 bucks or something and we're back in business cleaned it up ready to go nice little generator yes indeed <laughs>